It took six decades of development, but VR and other forms of extended reality are nearly with us. Today, various devices for virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality are paving the way to new digital worlds. But some significant challenges remain for XR. To offer a better experience, XR device needs to work wirelessly. But XR tech consumes lots of graphic data and user inputs need to be immediately processed, which is demanding on network resources. Now, it's your turn to address these issues. But before diving into complex equations, let's take a stroll in a garden. Look, these plants represent extended reality device users. When electromagnetic waves transmit data, the plants get their water, which they need to flourish. When data is transmitted over electromagnetic waves, it is arranged in time and frequency. Time frequency resources are just like the act of watering plants. You need to water a plant at the right time. Here we have a water sprayer. It's like a base station in a wireless network. It ensures wireless signal coverage for users. Unlike in other places, in this particular garden, even a slight delay in watering can have a significant impact on the plants. This is similar to XR, where data packet losses or late delays can cause blurred visuals, jitter, and other malfunctions. In a network, a single base station often serves dozens of users. Users have different needs. It's like how some plants can handle dry conditions while others cannot. When users compete for network resources, they may interfere with each other. This is like how plants shade each other. Naturally, diligent gardeners want more flowers to bloom. One way to meet watering needs could be to add another sprayer to boost coverage. This is just like adding an extra bean to cover more users. Another solution could be adjusting the water pressure to adjust the spraying range. But in this garden, the amount of water available is fixed. Boosting the jets of one sprinkler could affect other sprinklers. It's the same in a network. The total power of the base station remains fixed. Boosting the power of one beam can impact other beams. So far, we've identified several watering resources in a wireless network. The act of watering plants, when they need it represents time frequency resources, the application of multiple sprayer systems spatial resources, and the total water available would be power resources. The challenge we want you to address is how to efficiently allocate these resources in these types of gardens to allow more plants to flourish. This translates into using limited wireless communication resources to enhance user experience. For example, we can prioritize watering plants that need more water. We can also redirect sprinklers to modify coverage or allocate more water resources to devices that are responsible for more plants. In short, we've transformed this real-world challenge into a mathematical problem presented in our ICPC challenge, powered by Huawei. Solving this problem is critical for the future of XR development we hope that you will all enjoy solving this problem.